Good morning everybody, bright and early, 8 o'clock in the morning. Uh, it's Sid from Partridge Exterior Cleaning, uh, doing a bit of pressure washing at a care home today. Um, and this is going to be quite the job, let me tell you. Um, I'll try and uh, sort of show you now. I don't know how much of this I'm going to be able to film. Um, obviously if there's any residents walking by and stuff then um, I won't be recording them. Um, but yeah, I'm going to be here probably for two days. This is going to be a bit of a nightmare, this one. I've just found out on arriving today as well that the drainage is almost just for show. Um, and it doesn't work very well um, and considering we're on a massive slope this is going to be a nightmare of a job i think but oh well i'll uh, show you around now. right so here we are at the top of the drive we're just on a main road so it's very loud i do apologize and then look at all this so all up there it, the, it swoops around um passed into the other house as well so this is all one big thing basically um so that driveway there we've got to do all of this everything you see and then the worst part is down here jesus christ check this out Again, this is an area here with next to no drainage, hence, hence why all of this has grown. Um, and that garage isn't actually owned by the care home, it's owned by a neighbour who's just moved in. So there could be loads of stuff in there, and we don't know if that's watertight or not. So I'm going to have to um, try and tackle this and speak to the neighbour. Um, I've got a shovel with me, um, and I'm going to try and sort of get most of this cut down before I start pressure washing, because my pressure washer will not be taking that up. Um, so yeah, all of this, as you can see, it's... Uh, it's pretty bad, let's be honest here. This is probably gonna be the worst one I've ever done. Um, and then into here as well, we've got more of an area. So yeah, bit of a monster job to be honest. I've got loads of sand coming. Um, the gaps are quite big, so I think I've, I've ordered loads of it. So just in case, I'd rather have too much than not enough. But yeah, I mean, this, this I mean, to be fair, once we get past this wall here, it's not too bad. Um, it's it's kind of cleanish. Um, just can do a quick going over, but all of this stuff, is horrible um I'll, I'll just drink my tea cheers um and then i'll set the camera up and um i'll start attacking this stuff just getting the bulk of this off before i start pressure washing it so we'll see how that goes nice one Okay, better. God, that was difficult. That took me uh, about half an hour, that did, just to try and clear this section. <laughs> I haven't even started pressure washing yet. Here's the spoils of war from that. A whole bin full of stuff already, so. A little bit there. Get out of here. But yeah, so I'll uh, get started. I'm gonna start from up there. I already know this drainage is gonna be an absolute nightmare, but what can I do? I'll uh, just gotta crack on and uh, see what I can sort of get done, so. Right, I'll uh, get going. Right then folks, progress is being made. Um, I had to stop recording for a bit just to charge my phone, but I've got up to here, so I've done all of that. I've been going about an hour and a half, so not the quickest, but I've had to keep stopping and starting because of this drainage down here. Um, it's, it's really bad, it fills up, it's got nowhere to go. Um, now what I'm gonna attempt to do, try and be clever, is I'm gonna build like a mud dam as I start working my way down. So the mud will build up, 
and it will act as like a dam for the water just in case and then every sort of couple of sections i'll come down i'll bail the water out again basically i'll just take it from the bucket into a big bag and i pour it on the grass there um, and it's fine so as soon as i've done this bit that's like the hardest bit done really and the rest of it i can just sort of kind of push it all along um and hopefully it'll be a, a lot easier then so yeah um hardest bit then i'm on the sort of stretch then of, of nice easy work so i'll set you up again Morning everybody, bright and early once again. What is the time today? 8.40 today, it's starting a little bit late, so I was a bit tired, it's a Saturday as well. Um, so yeah, day two here on this care home uh, pressure washing clean. Um, I'll show you sort of where that I left off yesterday, um, but it's all looking really nice, it's all dried out lovely. Um, the majority of the pressure washing is done, it should only be maybe an hour or so at most probably actually now probably a couple of hours two hours of pressure washing left and then it's just resanding for the rest of the day so here's how we're looking as you can see all looks very very lovely it's still damp down there that just shows how bad the drainage was and still on these parts as well i was having an absolute nightmare um, i'm not sure how much i recorded of yesterday but i remember saying that um that part there or oh, hardest part blah 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 no here is the hardest part I really shot myself in the foot by uh, yeah, thinking it was going to be easier than I thought it was. The drainage here, it, well, it, it's for sure, it doesn't exist. There's no drainage there whatsoever. Um, so it's just, it all just pulls down there. It's so difficult. So I'll try and go over that again without causing too much water there because otherwise it's not going to dry out today. Um, I have a bit to do sort of down there and a decorative part around the top. But all of this has come up really nice, as you can see. Um, I ended yesterday here. it was getting a bit too late and obviously there's re residents living here so i didn't want to um be carrying on too late so uh yeah i'll finish this off now um do the other part and then wait for everything to dry out and start resending
right there folks, all done and looking good. This is all dried out now as well. There's still a few damp patches where the drainage is bad. But um, yeah, apart from that, we're pretty much ready to go for the resanding now. Uh, this is gonna be painful. I must admit, this is a, a big surface area to resand by myself. Um, tools for the job, I've got the Bentley broom and I've got a uh, floor squeegee for sort of pushing the sand along a bit easier instead of cause the amount of times I've tried to push a big mound of sand after I pour it out the bag um, and I've snapped the broom it does my head in so I'm gonna try and push it with a floor squeegee instead just get it down a bit and then I can uh, detail it with the broom and then afterwards I will uh, give it a light a light sort of leaf blowing over um, and it should look really good that's us my usual technique for resanding and it tends to turn out nice so all right I'll set this camera up then get this done as soon as I can and then go home and rest right cheers everyone folks we did it all done and dusted christ that was a that was a long one um everything's came up great so that's the main thing um yeah sorry i'm so out of breath that's really taken out of me that was form of jet washing and uh and friends make it look easy don't they but it's definitely not that resanding christ i have uh, it's probably the biggest one i've ever done to be honest so it's um usually it's only about an hour yeah, on uh, smaller jobs, it's usually only about an hour. It's, you know, it's sort of 80 to 100 square meter drive. This took me about three hours straight, so God, I'm exhausted. Um, yeah, I've started to realize a bit on this job. I think it's gonna be time for a bigger machine soon. Um, Cause the 12 liters per minute, I mean, it just shows you can, you can do, excuse what I look like, by the way, I am gonna get a haircut soon. Um, it just shows you can get the jobs done with a, you know, a less like powerful machine, um, but it's slow. I mean, this has been two full days now, pretty much. Well, it's 10 past two, so one and a half days really to get this one done. Um, but it's just slow. And then when you've got to resand the by yourself as well, it's like, Christ. Yeah, it's, um, as I think I did, this one was like 250 meters squared, I think, or 270 maybe. Um, and I was speaking to someone yesterday, what's going on in my hair, man? I was speaking to someone yesterday and he did 370 meters squared in one day. And I was like, what the hell? I barely did 170 that day. So yeah, it might be time for a bit of an upgrade, get myself a 21 litres per minute machine. Um, yeah, and have a good time. But yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope there's been enough in it. Um, again, it's one of them jobs, the bigger jobs you get. It's like, I'm so conscious of just trying to make sure I finish it. Um, the video footage takes a bit of a second place, unfortunately, because um, I'm on a bit of a deadline at the moment with some of these jobs. Um, but yeah, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I'll give a shout out to a Duncan McKenzie as well. His dad said that you've, uh, your dad said you've been watching the videos and annoying him by telling him to telling him to watch the videos as well. So shout out to you, mate. Thanks for watching the vids. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. So thanks a lot, everyone. Take care. Peace.